Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. How great to see everybody here. I trust you enjoyed my last video on Aussie band Jet and their debut album, Get Born. 4.5 million albums were sold worldwide. Because of the song, Are You Gonna Be My Girl? In the video we talked about, sometimes it's gotta be bold and ask the question, don't we? And we also talked about, hey, let's just be a bit kinder to each other out there because you know, nobody's perfect. So I trust you found that one encouraging because you know what? I'm not perfect, so <laughs> there we go. We're going from there to 1989 in Melbourne again, actually. Uh, we're getting to folk pop, indie pop, kind of whimsical, playful kind of vibe today. Simon Austin, Angie Hart, Tim O'Connor, Mark Picton. Uh, these guys around, the, around that 1989 formed the band Frente. Now, Frente uh, sort of, you know, got pretty well known in most Melbourne venues. Of course, the minute you've got your bit alternative, you're actually going to get a whole heap of people listening to you because you're just different to the, the grunge and the heavy stuff that was going starting to happen around that time. Whimsical and light, absolutely. And you know, there's just something about Angie's vocals, the way she actually just sings. She's got a pretty beautiful, pretty crazy voice. This girl got beautiful twangs to it, but beautiful melody as well. These guys really know how to write songs. And 1991 out came an extended play um, which uh, kind of did pretty well for these guys and they were able to, and the album was called World, they were able just to kind of increase their popularity, I suppose. Um, then released another EP in 1992 called Clunk and we've got Ordinary Angels. Now this song went to number three on the charts. Um, it would eventually get released on the album, we're going to talk about it in a minute, but for the sake of the EP, we got the official clip of Ordinary Angels below. Then out in 1994, the world changed for these guys absolutely with the album Marvin the Album. Now, <laughs> I love the I love the album title. Don't know who Marvin is, <laughs> and but you know it's pretty pretty cool. And so uh, this particular album sold one million copies and it went to number five on the ARIA charts in Australia. And thanks really to um, the song "Accidentally Kelly Street," um, which. Um, was all about, apparently the story goes, was all about um, just a guy moving from one street to another and he's been quite observant around the new street and what it was like. Uh, one of the lines, wind is talking through the flowers and where people with strangers sometimes accidentally meet. It's a beautiful, beautiful, some beautiful, beautiful lines in this song. And I suppose this got me, got me thinking, and we've got an official and live version of Accidentally Kelly Street below. Again, just listen to Angie's vocals. She's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and it got me thinking about moving. You know, no, I've moved I've moved within the last uh, three years. And, you know, for me, you know, it was all about working out what I absolutely needed to take. I think that's the first thing we've got to realise, what do we need? Because there's nothing like moving to actually work out what we need and what we want. Obviously there's a little bit of want in there as you can see behind me I've got a few DVDs in there. In the front of me you've got some CDs. I kind of like the concept of the disc still. Born in 1965, there we go. Uh, but I think we work out first of all what we really, really need. What's going to make our life kind of work? Obviously we do need things. We need to be able to cook things. But there's things that we want as well. This things kind of makes our home home. And I know for me, you know, this is the fourth place that I looked at. The first one was uh, an interesting tale of a landlord that accepted um, eight months rent in advance from somebody else. And I thought that, I thought, well, that's a bit unfair. But you know what? I get to walk through those streets <laughs> every morning to work. So, you know, I still get to walk through those train line street, streets. The next two were a little bit dog boxy, you know, not, not the best of places. And... And they were just um, not not good. And then when I get to my get to the place I'm in now, and I just gotta flick the music stand around here, and I was confronted with this view. See that? See the clouds and the sky and the trees, and there's a little bit of a hill in the background that's Mount Lofty. And you know, it was my absolutely so if I can get the camera back to where I need it to be, around about there. There we go. 
And so when I, when I came and looked at this place, um, the agent said to me, well, you need to come and see it. I know you like it, but you need to come and see it. So I reckon I got another open, open just for me. And I made all the sufficient thank yous, the place is beautiful and all the rest of it. And then I got the whole, well, my head says no, but my heart says yes, it's yours. And so, and so I got to move in. And I've been here ever since. And, and it just got me thinking as I, as I learned around my surroundings and uh, what made Glenelg where I live such a beautiful place it is. We've got beautiful coastline down here, beautiful sunsets. And Glenelg's just got that feeling of space about it. Um, I was able to walk around my street and realise actually there was a bit of a path that goes to the tram line here. I didn't know that was there. That's how I get to work. That's how I walk to work now. Um, and I got got to be familiar with my surroundings and I started to look at this time of year in autumn how all the trees are changing colour. You go down a whole street of trees currently changing colour. It's a beautiful thing. You know, and we think um we we, we think about well this is absolutely my happy place. <laughs> and you know, it it's, it's amazing how we don't always know um, what's gonna happen when we make changes in life, but you now this change has been pretty, pretty good one. And I think we just gotta be aware of our surroundings that when we do move somewhere else, um, make the most of it, hey. Start to work out what is it that makes this place just unique, because there's nothing else like the place you live in, really. And you make it your home, don't you? It's a place you come back to every night. It's a place you come to to relax. You know, perhaps you bring friends around. And it's a place where you rest as well and, and escape the world as well. We all need to escape the world from time to time. So accidentally, Kelly Street is a beautiful observation of moving house. And I can honestly say that I, I know the, the feeling of wind is walking through the flowers and and the beautiful wind going through our autumn leaves here at the moment. It just creates a real magical feel. So let's be observant of our surroundings, I'm thinking, because, you know, we get placed in places, don't we? And we've got to make the most of them when they're there. So Trisha found that one encouraging. Wind is talking through the flowers. What a beautiful line that one is. Fish on a live clip of flowers of accidentally Kelly Street. Also, that of that album, we've also got... Uh, official clip of no time almost like there's no time like the present absolutely we don't ever want to hear that thing we want to be inspired in those moments don't we 1993 um out came another ep labor of love and off that album we had bizarre love triangle now this came out by the song uh by new order uh and this is a bit more of i suppose a, a frente version light whimsical but very very reflective very very romantic and compelling this song was absolutely massive for these guys and they just really captured the essence of this song amazing what you can do when you slow a song down and you and you just really listen to the lyrics um of of of, of the song and um i remember covering uh, take on me by aha many many years ago now and there was a live version a re reflective version that it was absolutely stunning Sometimes taking having a different take on a song is a beautiful thing. So we got the official clip of Bizarre Love Triangle. Uh, one of the critics have said very, very unique, very, very unique vocals by Angie Hart. They did break up in 1998, but there's been a couple of reunions since and out in, and but we also had 1996's second album, Shape. So there's been two studio albums, one live album, three EPs and 12 singles. And because of that first album, Marvin, the album, we sold around one million copies. So in the scheme of things, pretty, pretty successful. So the links to those five clips are in the description below. As I've got a dog barking next to me at, at downstairs, my apologies for that. I'm just not going to worry about it. It's just a dog, you know. There's the thing about neighbourhoods. There are dogs that live in neighbourhoods and we just got to go with it, hey? Uh, so the links for those five clips in the description below, and I've also included my last video from Jet, so if you want to recap on them, feel free. Well, if you come back for another one, or this is your first time, the Life Reflections for Music, how great to see everybody here. Next time, we're gonna, 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 gonna get onto another band, I just remembered, ABC. Now, I was thinking to myself, because as you know, I've got my artist in alphabetical order by playlist in playlist there, I thought ABC, well, would they be the first, like the earliest band in the alphabet? But no, I remember that little band from Sweden, ABBA, A-B-B-A. -B -B -A. So I reckon 
they might be the first um, band that I can think of, unless there's uh, an artist out there whose name is Aaron. Um, I think, um, you know, we're getting around the start of the alphabet with this group from the 80s. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.